Hi, my name's Simone from SimoneMadeIt.com and today I'm going to show you how to personalise or edit my Paris Party invitation template. Uh, when you open your file in Adobe Reader, this is what you'll see. Make sure you have it open in Adobe Reader only because it won't work in any other program and the fonts will all look very different if you do open it in a different program. Um, first of all, to see the uh, editable text fields, you can click on this button here. This is the Highlight Existing Fields button. And what that will do is it will highlight all the text fields that you are able to change the text of. Okay, so I don't like actually working with that, so I'm going to toggle that button off again. And I'm going to enlarge the invitation so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so in this invitation actually, all of the text you can change. Um, the first thing we're going to do is to type in the birthday girl's name here type in Sophie into the, the postmark there. And now we're also going to take uh, type in her age into the postage stamp. If you wish to, you can change that text there. Maybe you prefer postcard as one word. And down here you actually have six lines to type in your party information. Um, so you just start typing on the first line and press enter or return to get to the next line. So you can type in the um, time of your party, day, date of party, oops, and location of party down here. Plus there's another line here if you need it. Uh, next is to type in your RSVP details. So I'm going to type in Simone and I'll type in my email number here. So you just highlight my sample text and then start typing in your own. Oops, and it helps if I could spell. Okay. Over here, you can also change the uh, bonjour to something else if you prefer. I'm going to leave it as it is. It's going to type in Sophie's name here. And her age. So her eighth birthday in Paris. Now, say you had a bit more information that you wanted to type in here. You can do that. Uh, you can bring that up onto the other line, gives you another space here if you want another line of text there. Another way you could do it is to highlight that text and make it a bit smaller by pressing uh, Control E on a PC or Command E on a Mac. And what that will do is it will bring up this text properties toolbar here. And in this box here you can change the size. So if you wanted to make it much smaller, you can. No, it's not that much smaller. Oop. So you have to highlight the text and then change the size. And see, you can see there it's gone much smaller. So then you have, whoop, and you have more lines of text to fit in if you need them. You can also change the size of Bonjour, make it a bit smaller, make it a bit bigger. It's up to you. And the last thing you can change on this information, on this invitation, sorry, is the Eiffel Tower Paris France text down there. So you can uh, type in anything you like down there. Okay, so once you have typed in all the information into your invitation, you can see that the second invitation down the bottom has already updated with the same uh, text that you've just typed in, so you don't need to type it in again. And then all that's left to do is to print. So click on click on the print icon and make sure you have actual size selected and that way that will make sure that your invitations print out at the correct size of 4 by 6 inches and print. And that's your Paris invitations. So thanks for watching.